After only winning nine games in four seasons, the Versailles Tigers notched 14 wins this year to get to state for the first time in 17 seasons. While the MAC tends to be pretty closely knit in support of other schools and conference, Versailles fans may find Delphi St. John's fans especially vocal in their support this year. Tigers playing Kirtland at Benson Hall of Fame Stadium for the Division 5 state title, and the Hornets have won 55 straight football games dating back to 2017. Kirtland's last loss was in the Division 6 state title game that year to Marion Local. A win gives Kirtland their seventh state title, their fourth in a row, and positions them to break the Blue Jays record of 57 straight wins on August 26th, 2022. The Tigers jumping around and ready to go. The final game at Benson Hall of Fame Stadium this weekend, and Versailles gets it started. Carson Bay keeps it himself and picks up the first down. Lots of running in this one this weekend. Now on third and 12, and Bay finds Eli McEldowney, and he picks up the first down. Nice third down conversion for the Tigers. Now Bay will keep it again, and this time he's got room outside, evades a tackler, and will take it all the way in for the touchdown for Sales striking first on a 10 play 63 yard drive and then bay with some nice defense getting in for the tfl right there hornets now at third and eight looking to run but ryan kanapke back in the backfield for another loss of tiger defense forcing four turnovers in this one against kerlin so they would settle for a 38 yard field goal off the leg of johnny regas three points for Kirtland. Second quarter, fourth and one for Versailles, and Bay keeps it, gets just enough for the first down, and then later on, Bay throwing up to Michael Osborne, making an insane catch over the defender for the touchdown. Versailles up 20 to three at one point. They hang on for the victory, 20 to 16 in this one. Bay throwing a touchdown, running for another one. The Tigers snap Kirtland's 55-game winning streak and win their first state title since 2004. Yeah, I just feel great for these players. You know, the hard work that they put in, uh, they deserve all the credit. I didn't make any blocks or tackles, that's for sure. Uh, they started this in June. You know, they decided after we lost last year in the playoffs against Roger Bacon that they were going to pay the price for success, and that's exactly what they did. It's, it's, no, uh, it's no coincidence that they were able to have a successful year. It's because of the hard work, the dedication led by our seniors. They're a great group, fantastic, uh, best I've ever coached, and I couldn't be more proud of this group right here tonight. Yeah, you know, as somebody who's not from Versailles, I moved there three years ago. Um, Seems like heaven on earth to me right now and my family, we love it there. My boys love it there. It's a great community. Uh, to be able to bring them some joy with a win, um, to be a part of it, it's just a fantastic feeling. It's just a great feeling. Yeah, it means everything. We knew 17 years since we've been here, 18 since we've won it, and we had to do something about it. I was a baby when we won this last time, and now I'm a senior winning it for the, winning it for the community. It's almost, like, my, it's mind-blowing. I'm almost speechless about it. Like. I don't know, there's, not, there's nothing I'm more proud of than what this team has accomplished this year and the past four years. It's amazing. Uh, we put six years of work uh, in County Junior High. Um, just amazing feeling. We broke their win streak. Uh, that's the longest one in the nation. We knew about it coming in, and we still dominated. Uh, you know, our coaches, great job. Players, great job. We were hustling all night. We were, we were creating turnovers. It was great. Yeah, we take it personally because uh, we're, we're run stoppers up front. Uh, you know, we have a lot of sacks here and there, but uh, at the end of the day, we're run stop first. And uh, our defense like it did a great job of shutting that down the inside run, uh, forced out to one of our best players, Carson Bay, uh, on the outside making tackles. What a ride, how much fun it has been to cover all of these teams throughout the season. All of our teams that made it to the playoffs, that made deep runs, even if they didn't make it to the state, had terrific seasons. Congrats to all the teams on a terrific season. Congrats to our state teams on terrific seasons as well. I want to thank Zach Keith who contributed to this report. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Patrick Kamler. See you next time.